Hey, happy Friday, everybody. If you watched my short video, thank you for coming over here. If you haven't watched it, there ain't no need now because you're here. So basically what I've been doing is uh, uh, reconfiguring the track on this end of the peninsula. Uh, behind me, there are uh, three tracks, uh, main one, two, and three. Two and three are basically sidings. Uh, main two is now going to be a main line as I'm double tracking part of the layout. And uh, track number three would just be a siding. Um, there's a track over here on the very, very edge, right here. That was an impromptu um, addition. I'm gonna take you over here. I wasn't quite sure what to do with that area, but I, I had an idea where um, I could load my rail cars on. So I got this Cato car re-railer, I think it's called. And uh, what you do is you just sit the car on there and it rolls down and, and just puts itself on the track. So that'd be pretty cool. So I got six feet there I can work on. And, uh, you know, just start dropping cars on. It'd be a lot easier than doing it on the main line, even though that little gray thing comes off. I've also uh, realigned the main line here. You can see everything is not looking too bad. And then I have the track, the flex track right there. That track will begin to go upgrade at uh, about 1% grade all the way down to the peninsula or to the end of the peninsula and then come up on the second level this has really been a bear for me i've had i've had idea after idea i thought i had it solved and then you know i come up with some ideas that you know th this isn't going to work so i'm replanning a lot of that you see the roundhouse and yard in this new location i've determined that the uh uh the layout location well, the wall where that was previously located, uh, you know, I didn't measure right or something. So it's it's a lot higher than what it is over there. But I've also been checking out the floor, and the floor's a little off kilter as well. So I need to lower it down uh, about an inch and a half on one side and maybe an inch on the other side. So that'll happen here in the next oh, couple of days, probably this week sometime or next week, that is. I got quite a bit of shelving put in back here i just need to buy some foam and start uh laying the lines of where the track will be and then i can start working on uh connecting the peninsula to the rail yard over there and once i get that done at least i can run some trains and yeah i can work the yard and i can come out of the uh, uh the yard lead and onto the main line and come around so the layout in the back room here it's still in place. Nothing will change in here with the exception of this bridge. Uh, it will come out and I have a new bridge that will go in. You see part of my mountain or my big hill, depending on where you're from, was in this corner. So this totally changes <laughs> the look of this area. So the mountain and everything will go back through. The tunnels will still be there. And uh, I can finish detailing that area up or add some more details to it. Uh, no changes on this part of the layout. It'll all stay exactly the same with exception of a little bit of wiring. Um, the way I wired it was for a loop operation, but with the layout being built to its you know, to, to the full plan, each main line is separate, but there are many crossovers in different locations. So, but as the loop layout was ran previously if that makes sense i had to wire it you know outside rail outside rail and all that stuff so outside rail on the track closest to you would be like red and then red is also wired to the outside track on the other side so i can flip those around and uh, everything would be wired so i can run through my crossovers with no problems between main one and main two i mean not main one and main two but the virginian and the pensy or whatever i'm running for the day just got some stuff sitting around I didn't realize how much stuff I had, and I call it crap all the time, but I mean it in a very endearing way. So lots of stuff to do, lots of uh, scenery to work on. There's always going to be some scenery to do. I have a another shelf to put in down here, and then I can start getting some of this stuff picked up. Some of the stuff just needs to be put in boxes and, and, and put away, and then... Uh, some of the locomotives. I like the diesels to be separate from the steam. I think that's kind of obvious. 
And then uh, you can see the mountain sitting down there. I actually thought about redoing this whole thing because that was the first uh, time I ever worked with foam. And it's very, uh, very angular. And, and you can see that it's very straight lines and stuff like that. So I, I may decide to do something with that. I mean, I, I don't know. But things are uh, coming around. I have not done anything uh, to, the, to the water scene back here. But here in the next uh, you know, couple weeks, maybe I will. I haven't decided because once I get uh, into the building aspect of, of uh, you know, the shelves and all that stuff, I really, I really enjoy the building of it. I guess it's a lot of gratification. But you can see out here, it's starting to get dark. It is going on 9 o'clock here in North Carolina. And I don't have but a couple of lights working. I don't know what is going on with these fluorescent lights, but I think it just got too hot out here and they burned out the uh, the ballast. So I work out here in the mornings and uh, mostly by natural light. And these are going to get changed out. I'm going to convert them to LEDs, uh, direct wire LEDs. So... That'll run me about $250 to $300, and that's way cheaper than replacing every single light. So, if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to do so. Uh, leave a like if you like what I'm doing. I kind of ramble a little bit. This is off the cuff. And then, uh, if you have any comments, you know, let me hear them. I like to know how other people lay track. What do you use to... Uh, adhere your uh, road bed to the foam. I use just wood glue and I use, uh, sometimes I either use uh, liquid nails to adhere the foam to the wood and a lot of times I'll use a Gorilla Glue, but Gorilla Glue is a little expensive. So we shall see what we do next time. Great results with either one, but I'll close here. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, if you don't, that's fine. But I appreciate you watching. Have a good day.